Hey guys, I just want to talk to you about getting started with Pieces for Developers and getting set up with code snippets. Starting out, you just want to make sure that Pieces OS is running in the background. Once it's running, you can close that window. Click and continue to get started in the onboarding, and you'll see you're presented with two different options, either connecting account or running local only. One will require signing in with an email, and one won't. Connecting account will require signing in with an email. I'll show you how to do that now. You'll be presented with this simple pop-up, and it will ask you to sign in with Google or some other means. I just selected Google here. Once I sign in with Google, I'm brought back to onboarding, and you'll see that there's some helpful information throughout the rest of these onboarding slides, like how to copy and paste snippets and some of the metadata that we attach to different uh, code snippets as we get them, I um, mean, as you add them to your repository. But then I'm gonna show you how to get started with code snippets already in your repository. So if you go here, you'll see that it says select files. So if you click that, You'll be presented with a pop-up again that shows you some code files that you may have. Um, if not, you can navigate to those. And then I'm going to select this Dart file. So what Pieces is going to do is it's going to sort through that file and find code snippets that are usable to you. It'll bring you into here, and then you can go through each snippet that it has found and decide if you want to add it into your repository. Each one can be selected individually, or you can select uh, add all of the snippets. But here, you can see that I've selected five, I believe six. And then once I get to six, I'm going to add all of these snippets into my repository. It'll add those six. It'll double check and make sure that you didn't miss a couple. You can click add the remaining eight or to proceed without saving. Now, once you get into the app for the first time, you'll see that all those snippets that you just saw have now been added into your repository. It's super easy to do and they'll all be sorted individually so that you can copy and paste and reuse them in different locations throughout different projects you're working on. There's a lot of other data that gets stored with each of these snippets when you add them that is stored in the information view. There's a lot of things here. These tags are auto-generated. This smart description is created with some ML models that we use through Pieces OS. There's more about that in another video and that will come up on the screen in the top right. So now I'm going to show you how to add multiple files um, and multiple directories once you're already in the app. You can click the plus button, open this menu, and then you'll click Snippet Discovery. You'll be brought back to the same place you were before, but you can select a folder, which is a directory, and then select an entire directory here inside of the file picker pop-up. Once you do that, the process is basically the same. You'll have a number of snippets that we have found inside of your directory that you just selected and you can go through and select individual ones. But here I'm just going to bulk add all 12. Now all 12 of those are added and I'm going to go back to the home and boom. Now all the snippets that I just found inside of that directory and that I selected have been added. You can find out more about all these features at code.pieces.app.